Oh, good morning. I tell you what, I have a special treat for you today. Let me show you something over here. This is the Porter Ranges Jetty and hidden just in front of your face right here. When you're out here fishing, it's straight up money right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you see all these guys right back over behind me, they're doing all of this fishing. And of course, all these people over here and all these people way in the distance over here. Some of these guys are losing some serious tackle. Not all of them. Some of them are like this guy and catching real fish. Yeah, that is a serious big time bull red and that's why you need to be fishing out here on the Port Aransas Jetty for sure. But for every one of those big time bull reds, well, about 50 liters are lost in the rocks. That's why Savannah and I have come out here today and we're gonna do a little bit of snorkeling. In our last video, a couple of things happened. I, uh, well, I lost my camera, so I can't get in the water and do any spear fishing. I also caught a whole lot of fish, so I don't need any more fish. I'm good, we're stocked. I didn't want to pass up an opportunity to come out here and spend a little time on the jetty and have some fun. So Savannah and I came out. We're dedicating our day entirely to jumping down here into the water, and we're gonna go see what treasure we can find hidden down in the rocks.
sunglasses. Yes, let's get that out of here. They were sunglasses? No, they were sunglasses at one point. They're not now. Yeah, where's that stuff? Way over there. <laughs> over there? Yeah, you swam a long ways down. So let's keep looking. There's a lot of stuff. I've, I've got a ton of tackle here. Look at how heavy that bag is. We got a ton of stuff. up now and uh, I'm not gonna lie it was a little bit lighter of a haul than what I was expecting but it wasn't completely unexpected because I went to the beach side if you go to the channel side you're gonna find a lot more stuff if you decide to go do some snorkeling you want to collect some tackle you're gonna find a lot more stuff in the channel a little bit more calm on the beach side and I wanted Savannah to be able to enjoy herself I wanted her to have some fun while she was out there snorkeling let's open up this bag and take a look at what we got we did get some fun stuff in here Normally, I can fill a tackle box with lures. Uh, today was a lot more uh, lead weights, which have a lot more value than what you think. The other valuable thing that we got here is all of this. We got all of this monofilament crap, uh, 
braid, you name it. We got all that stuff out of the rocks. That's kind of uh, the most important thing. The rest of this is just a nice byproduct, a nice bonus. Getting this stuff untangled is gonna be a mess. So I got all this cut up and I did that in slow motion because uh, I didn't want it to look all boring and stuff, but in all honesty that only took, uh, oh, maybe 10 minutes to cut up all these leaders. I'm going to go do this and collect all this stuff. I do suggest getting some wire cutters because there's a lot of wire leaders down there. All in all, cutting up this whole cast net and then all of these leaders and all of this trash, that only took about 10 minutes. So this is actually like a pretty worthwhile haul. Uh, let's get into it and I'll show you what we got. Not only was it a worthwhile haul, look at all that trash we got right there. That is fantastic. Including the soy sauce. <laughs> all right, so breaking all this down, we got our little golf ball. That's gonna be fun for a later date. I'm gonna set these off to the side because we're gonna talk about those spider weights in a minute. Uh, that is actually a pretty important aspect of this entire haul, is those guys. I did collect one hook. Um, there was several in there and they were kind of rusted so I really didn't feel like collecting them. I'm good on hooks but I have filled a tackle box with hooks in the past. It can be done. I just didn't do it today. We got that lure. This is actually a pretty good little find because that guy can very easily be repainted, put some new hooks on there and he is totally good to go. They're weighted and blah blah blah. You know he's designed all good. Now I get to just paint them up and make them my way. Lead weights that we found. Lead weights are valuable. It's nice having those. The price of lead is, is, it's, well, lead is pretty expensive. I'll put a price for all of this stuff right here on the screen right there, because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Kind of good on weight, so what I'll probably do is take these over to my dad's house, and we're gonna melt them down and turn them into lures, because we have a mold for that. Now, this is a really interesting haul. Th th there is a lot more value in this than what you would think. These are those weights that were at the bottom of the cast net, and they're not lead, or if they are, I don't know. I think they're just heavy rubber. It doesn't matter. They're pretty valuable, and let me show you why. Remember those spider weights I was talking about just a moment ago? Those guys are made of lead, and they use copper or steel for the wiring. We've got a, what is probably, I'm guessing that is a one ounce, and then we have a three ounce, a four ounce, and a six ounce weight here. This is how much those guys cost in the store. What I'm going to do is take some baling wire and I'm going to wrap up a bunch of these and make my own spider weights. This is about one ounce right here. So I can put four of them on there and make a four ounce weight with a couple of these. There are 44 weights on that net, which means that I can make 11. 11 of those spider weights right there with the weights that I got up off of that cast net. All in all, that is going to bring the total value of our entire haul that much. I haven't done the math yet. I need a calculator, but future editing Stanley is going to put that price up there right there for you. I'm going to go ahead and do a video about making those weights like that because I'd like to encourage everybody to pull up all those trash cast nets and garbage leaders and lures and everything that you find out of the jetty. There's a lot of value in those and I want to encourage you to get them out of there because it can be worth your time doing so. We had an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did and we can't wait to get out there and do it again. If you enjoyed this video, please consider checking that one out. Google thinks that's gonna be a pretty good video for you. And of course, we have our entire fifth season of fishing videos available right down there. Thank you so much for joining us and we will catch you in the next video.